Hmm, I keep getting screen tearing. Should I get a G-Sync monitor, a free sync monitor, or just stick with the normal V-Sync? Okay, I think I can help you out, but first let's talk about screen tearing. So screen tearing happens when your game's FPS doesn't match your monitor's refresh rate. Your frames can overlap each other and you get those ugly splits in motion that you usually see. Oh, I didn't realize how it worked. So how do the different sync modes help with that? Yeah, so uh, first up is V-Sync. It locks your game's FPS to your monitor's refresh rate to stop the tearing. It's great for smooth visuals, but uh, there's always a but. If your frames drop too low, it can cause input lag and stuttering. So I would skip it if your FPS is already higher than your monitor's refresh rate, like 120 FPS on a 60 hertz screen. Okay, so what about G-Sync? I see those advertised everywhere. Okay, so G-Sync is Nvidia's high-end fix for sync. It only works with an Nvidia GPU and a monitor made just for G-Sync. So it matches your monitor's refresh rate with the frames your GPU is sending out. So there's no tearing and it's very, very minimal lag. Okay, so G-Sync is constantly changing my monitor's refresh rate on the fly to match my GPU. That's kind of cool. And when does the actual tearing part happen? Yeah, if your FPS is bouncing around below your monitor's refresh rate, it's a lifesaver. But if your FPS is already above your monitor's refresh rate, I would just skip it because no tearing really happens there. Got it. So don't use G-Sync if my FPS is already super high. What about the FreeSync? So it's the same idea as G-Sync, but it's more affordable and it works with AMD GPUs. So many FreeSync monitors now also support NVIDIA GPUs too. So if you can find one, it's the better option because it works with both of your GPUs. Okay, so I really should only use any of the syncs when my FPS and my refresh rate don't really match. If I have really high FPS, I'm better off just not using any one of them, right? That's it, I'm rubbing off on you, man. So using any type of sync causes slight input lag. So don't use any syncs if your GPUs are strong enough.